Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Trons channel where we're going to tinker and learn. Today, we're going to have, uh, we're going to resolve an issue where apps can't access the internet, but the browser works. So this fix may or may not work for you as systems are different in some ways. This is my experience in solving the issue and it may not be your experience in solving the issue. All right, so the problem I'm having is I go to add an account to uh, Microsoft Mail and Calendar. I want to add my Outlook account. The problem I had was that the mail was not syncing, and I noticed this because other things were getting the emails, but this Outlook instance wasn't. And I noticed that there was a problem. So what we're having is the classic, my internet browser can access the internet, but the rest of the apps on this PC cannot. So in a nutshell, that's what it really is. So we get this error message, something went wrong. I researched it and I came up with a whole host of different things. And in this video, first thing I did was I took the credential manager and I stopped that service. And then I restarted that service and it didn't really help the situation. So I had to continue on. Here I am with uh, the Mellon calendar settings and, um, I'm going to go through and I'm going to like reset the app, terminate the app first. Then I'm going to reset the app since the app isn't working right. And it wasn't really the app that isn't working right. It was something with the machine. That's what I realized. All right. So we, we tried it out after doing that, and that didn't really help the situation none. So I had to continue on the troubleshoot. So what happened next is I went, tried to run it. Tried to add my account. And it's taking too long. And then of course that message came up. So I knew that was going to happen. So the next thing I knew to do was uninstall it. And, um, in hindsight, I might not have needed to really do that. It actually might've been really much more simpler than this. So, you know, and this is more of a troubleshooting and testing situation here. So I'm all over the forums, looking up stuff and trying different things. And lo and behold, I try to load the app to go get Microsoft Mail and Office. And the app's not working. The app's the Microsoft Store is not working. Not even loading up properly or none of this stuff is loading. And it's a shame. What can you do, you know? So when you get this message, try this again, then it it doesn't, it, it means that you're not connected to the internet with your Microsoft store. And that's where I realized that I had a problem with the machine and not necessarily the software. And that's where the nitty gritty came in. So we had to get our command prompt out. All right, so we'll zoom in there for you. And I did the, the proxy reset when HTTP, but I knew I had direct access and no proxy server. So the next thing I had to do was maybe try to uh, reinstall the Windows Store. 
because like like I said, I was troubleshooting and I didn't know if it was the store that wasn't working. But when you get a number of apps not working and this, that, and the other, it's usually a, a common underlying issue. And I need to definitely, this was definitely a learning process for me and I hope it's a learning process for you as well. So make sure, you know, I have the most up-to-date Windows apps for. I tried to do it once, but I had a deployment failure because current resources were in use. Now, that didn't help for me. I ran wsreset.exe. And then what did that get me? Probably nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> At this point, I was just frustrated with the issue. So the next thing I have to do is we have to run an SFC scan now. And then when I did that, they actually found it and repaired some corrupt files. And so I checked the CVS log. I didn't really find anything there. Well, you know, I, I didn't really benefit from looking at the log because there was just, this was just too much information. Uh, this log was long and I was looking for mainly anything that said error. Anything that said error, would I would check into. And in my scan of the page, I didn't find anything that said error. So, I tried to go to the feedback hub for help. And of course, that's another app that's not going to work. So, I decided, hey, after doing that process in which I SFC scan now, it was time to reboot the machine. Because usually when you stall out and you're not getting far, it's, it's usually required a reboot, especially when you're doing them. You're kind of making it up as you go. So I restarted and lo and behold, we have the App Store working for Microsoft Apps, Microsoft Store. And also we have to install like, you know, I was looking for my mail app to make sure, but I uninstalled it. So the best thing I could do was look back on the store and see if I can get it installed again for my machine. So I searched mail. Let's see what we have. I started to download this mail app, but I never used it before, so I don't know enough about it. But uh, I wanted to download Mail and Calendar. It had a better rating. And it took a little while to install, but it was no big deal. So I got it. And then this install process took a minute. And I'm not going to sit here and sit through it. I'm just going to get through the, um, the main stuff here. So the download was completed. It says you can find these apps in your all apps list. That's what I did. All right. And so we got it up and running. Next, I have to just add my account if it hadn't been already added, which that's what I had to do. I reinstalled it, deleted the data, and uh, we're ready for a new install. It recognized my email, which if you need to contact me, it's in my all my links section. And the email is set up successfully, and there comes my stuff. But I want to point out, after all these steps, the problem returned, and I had to disable all startup apps. And that was like 
for some reason now the, the the machine is working with apps and everything like that so it was one of these startup apps which i can't determine without further investigation what it was didn't work or made the problem so thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen be sure to like and subscribe and comment below if you had the issue or you have any solutions to add to this that any or anything that i missed thanks for watching and have a great day